Hello and you're watching TV9 News and I'm your host Deepak. Is your body generating enough antibodies to ward off COVID-19 post-vaccination? Or is the vaccine even working? And how do we know if it actually is or not? And finally, how long would it take for your body to generate enough antibodies to dampen the pathogen's effect on your system? Well, these are some of the questions that most of the vaccine beneficiaries wonder about post their vaccination uh, process. Now, if you don't know the answers, don't worry because you are watching the right video and I will try to get the answers to all your questions in this video. Now, to understand how the vaccine works, it is very important to understand how the body fights illness. So when pathogens invade your body, they attack the immune system and multiply to worsen the effect. And the invasion is what causes the infection later leading to an illness. So what the vaccine does is that it imitates the infection and this process doesn't cause illness. But it does trick the immune system into producing antibodies. So after getting a vaccine, the imitation infection can cause minor symptoms such as fever and body pain. And these are also signs that your body is responding to the vaccine's trick. And at this time, the imitation infection goes away and the body is left with a supply of antibodies which will remember how to fight the disease in the nearest future. So it's okay if you experience symptoms like body pain or even fever because that's when your body produces antibodies. But if you're worried about whether the vaccine is working or not, even after knowing this, then you don't worry because we've got it all covered. Dr. Sitesh Roy, an immunologist, will answer all our questions. So firstly, doctor, how do you know if the vaccine that was administered to a particular person is working or not? So Deepak, in the clinical trials for the vaccines, it has been found that uh, side effects such as pain in the arm, a swelling, redness, fever, nausea, body pain occurs in somewhere around 50% of the people. Whereas the efficacy of most of the vaccines around the world is between 70 to 95%, suggesting that getting any kind of side effects or adverse effects after the vaccine, which may be mild, is not a guaranteed way to know that the vaccine is working for you. So at this point of time, the only way to really assess the effectiveness of a vaccine is from the frequency with which a person would get an infection after they got the vaccine. Uh, because antibody tests are also not 100% accurate and cellular immunity tests are not something that are routinely available outside of research protocols. And so at this point of time, it really means that we have to take the vaccine with faith and we have to believe that it has been given in the right way at the right time uh, with the right cold chain maintained so that the vaccine works for us. Now, doctor, how long does it take for a person to develop antibodies after vaccination? In the clinical trials for, for example, with Covishield, it has been found that after the first or the primary immunization, the first injection, uh, around 50 to 60 percent people developed uh, antibodies that were of a protective level. It was also found that when the booster dose was given between four to eight weeks, uh, another 25% uh, or so developed protective antibodies. And so we can see that about two weeks after the secondary immunization, so if someone gets the first dose at day zero, gets the second dose at six weeks, then by somewhere around eight weeks is when they have developed their optimal or maximal immune response to the vaccination. And I would say that at that point, they are truly protected in the best way possible by that vaccine. And so people need to be careful that even if they have taken a single dose, and even after they have taken the second dose, they still need to follow all precautions that are recommended for prevention of the infection, even prior to vaccination. Should an antibody test be taken up by the beneficiaries post-vaccination as a routine? At this point of time, no organization in the world, not even the companies manufacturing the vaccines, are recommending that a person undergo an antibody test to assess their response to the vaccination. There are two reasons behind this. The first being 
that not everyone will develop uniform antibody responses to the vaccine. Some may develop a much stronger cellular immune response to the vaccine than a humoral, which is the antibody response to the vaccine. And secondly, antibodies are not developed to all the different parts of the virus, maybe to certain portions. Would that be represented on the test? So there are many nuances to the antibody test because of which it is not recommended that people assess their response to a vaccine based on an antibody blood test. And finally, doctor, what if a person's body is not generating any antibodies even after vaccination? What does that imply? And what are his options? There are certain circumstances in which a person may not develop a strong antibody response after vaccination. The first possibility is that the vaccine was not maintained in a proper cold chain and did not elicit a response. The second, the person may have a strong cellular response to the vaccine more than an antibody response and that will still protect them. The third, they were either in an immunosuppressed or immunocompromised state, for example, for people who are on chronic steroids or immune suppressive drugs for anti-cancer or post-transplant therapies or certain other immune deficiencies in which a person is chronically immune suppressed. They may not develop strong antibody responses, but they may still develop a cellular response that may be protective for them in case that they get infected. What this implies for us is we have to realize that no vaccine on the face of this earth today for COVID-19 is 100% effective. At best, they are 90-95% effective and maybe more practically 70-75% effective. So we still have to wear our masks, maintain physical distancing, use hand washing, hand sanitizing. And most importantly, the day before the vaccination, have a good night's sleep. Two days after the vaccination, also get good night's sleep. Take rest and let your body respond in the best possible way. Do not do any heavy workouts or physical activity after vaccination for a couple of days and give your body the best chance that it can have to respond to the immunization. That's the best we can do. Well, getting the immunity against COVID-19 is the silver lining that many are looking forward to. But you don't need to get the antibody check uh, to test if it is working or not. As long as you get your two doses on time, adhere to COVID-19 appropriate behavior, you will have sufficient protection from the deadly virus. So drop in your opinions in the comment section below on whether or not people should get the antibody test done after vaccination. And please tell us about your experience about how you felt after vaccination. Also, do not forget to like, share and subscribe to TV9 News on all social media platforms. Many thanks for watching.